guys um i hope you guys are doing fine and uh, we have almost come to the end of our um lectures on the history of anatomy right and we are like discussing the godfathers of anatomy people who have made one or two contributions to the study of anatomy that we have today so in this lecture i'll be talking about william hewson i'll be talking about the biography and scientific studies of william hewson okay so this is William Hewson on our screen, grazing our screen. We said that William Hewson was a British anatomist, surgeon, and physiologist. He's known for his contributions to the field of hematology. He is credited with the discovering of fibrinogen, a key protein in blood coagulation. Okay, so as of today, you can't talk about um, uh, blood closing pathways, okay, without talking about fibrinogen, all right. And this William Hewson was like um, basically who discovered fibrinogen, okay. So, and um, his work was also studying the structure of the lymphatic system and red blood cells, all right. So, um, William Hewson was born on 14th November 1739 and he passed away on 1st March 1774. So William Hewson was also Benjamin Franklin's neighbor at 36 Craven Street in London, where he conducted extensive research in human lymphatic system, okay? So it is safe for us to just say, um, William Hewson, he, was, um, he specialized in immunology, okay? He specialized in studying the immune system of human beings. All right. So this is still William Hewson on our screen. All right. Still William Hewson. So William Hewson, um, a student of the famed English anatomist, surgeon John Hunter, studied the white blood cells in details. Okay. And um, some 30 years later, after it was discovered, managing to distinguish two types of white blood cells. Okay, so because I, like I said, William Hewson, um, it's safe to say he made extensive studies on the immunity of the human system. Okay, so that's it about William Hewson, a British um, surgeon, physiologist, and physiologist. Okay, that's it about his biography and scientific studies. Okay, so I'll be seeing you guys in the next talk.